Hi, I'm studying Honey and in today's video we continue playing the Nintendo Switch game Ooblets. As you can see I've already started it because I was already playing a long time in between. And yeah, I will show you around to show you what I've done in between. So I just uh, finished the day. I'm not sure if I have shown this in my last video. Uh, when you finish the day, you always see a summary of everything you've done on this day. So this is my summary for last day. And then uh, you get an overview about which ooblets can be seen in which town. So if you scroll down, you can see where they are located, so they're in Badge Town, or in Mamumia, or Port Ford, or Nullware. So I've already uh, visited another two cities, which I've not shown you, so I've visited Nullware and Port Forward. And there is al also another location, another two locations I visited. Uh, one uh, where the newspaper is generated and then there are also islands where the oops are making holiday and on the beach you can sometimes find a bottle with an invitation for this for this location and if you have an invitation then you can travel there otherwise not so let's start the day I've redesigned my house a lot. Uh, I've now the biggest house I can buy at the moment. I'm not sure if there is any upgrade available where the house can be even bigger. Maybe if you have the bigger farm. So, as you can see on the wish list. You can see the, uh, wait. there is a second bigger farm. You need 1000 wishes. I have only 80 at the moment. Maybe then you can even have a bigger house on that. But at the moment, this is the biggest house I can buy. And I've, I've already collected a lot of furniture to make it look like a real house. So there is the kitchen, there is my cooking place, there is the place where you can create coffee. Which is really cool because you can sell it for a really high value. Uh, this is my sleeping room, my bedroom. Yeah, this is just some kind of relaxed area. I've not seen any paintings or drawings to put on the wall so far. That's some kind of missing feature. Yeah, so that's my house. As you can see from the outside too, it's a lot bigger because I have this left section now additionally and the right section. In my last video I think I only have the middle section. Check the mails. My farm is a lot bigger now. I think the last two lines were not there in my last video. And I've updated a lot of hoop coops. So if you look at the color, they're all different. This is the highest one. This is the hoop coop which can even heat the crops if uh, it's freezing. Because uh, I think in the game, in the game, time is different than the real time. So in the game, I think one week before there was a day where it freezed. So all the crops were freezing, nothing was growing, and on this day, I just tried somehow to to melt them down. So there are things you can buy to melt your crops, and they are growing again. Or you upgrade your group. So I tried to do that, but I only had to ink the resources for one Ukup, so one Ukup is upgraded, the rest not, but I'm trying to do that also with all other ones. Uh, I also buy another two machines to make, you know, a floor or a juice or something like that. I think I bought 
bought some recipes in between, which I didn't have before. So let's process them. I have also a lot more ooplets than in the last time. And I have a lot of clean, gleamy, shiny ones. I think they are called gleamy. You can see them behind me. Behind my character. There's even a... Uh, no, two gleamy are even here. So one is there. And one is there. They're working at the moment. And... What is really new is that I have a shop. Before we go to the shop, I still need to do some things. I need to create some coffees. I don't know why. It's always some kind of cut that on my TV, so the, the, <coughs> the window is kind of cut. On my Nintendo Switch, you can see a little bit more. That is funny. But okay, it's like it is. So let's create some coffins, which I can sell afterwards. <coughs> because people seem to like them a lot. Let's go to my shop and open it because I've, I've now everything I need for my shop. I want to do a whole day of shop time to get some tokens and upgrade my shop. Before we open it, uh, we go to the furniture shop because I can buy one display for my shop per day. I cannot even decide which one, so I'm always grabbing what is available. Doesn't matter what it is. What's actually available? Oh my god, this So everything is mixed. I think there is no mode where I can uh, kind of rotate the camera. I can only go into the furniture mode. But this is what you can see here. So I have a lot of products. I think, but I don't have a freep at the moment. 
Let's just end it here. We have Fructose, no, Fructose is also not available at the moment. Let's open the shop. This is a feature which is really missing in Animal Crossing. Since I know the shop mode and I need to say this is so much fun, I would like to have that in Animal Crossing too. Um, when you open the shop, they come inside and you can even assist them. So in this case, she found something, but sometimes they say, hey, I'm searching for something special. So you can um, change your stock and make it available to sell it and make it happy. What is really cool. This ringing time is something that can be influenced by update tokens you get uh, with every day and experience you gain. So every time you open the shop and sell things, you gain experience and you uh, get tokens for that. And then you can invest them into um, your shop, for example, to increase uh, to increase your prices or to make the string time uh, less or the weekly events, for example. And then you get more or different ones, something else. So the different options to open the shop. That's really cool. I already upgraded my shop sometimes. Yes, and there is a... Uh, no, 
just a crumb there it's called missing so another two customers and you can also say a uh, random chance of better or worse sale price or skill based chance of better or worse sale price so let's do that because it's only one
Just walk back and want to restock it because you still see what was there before, then you have no chance. They, they say no, the customer is, uh, has still not paid it, so you can't restock it. Because while he's waiting, the items are normally displayed transparent, so it would be easy to see what was there before. Close. 
just Normally if they are not immediately coming again I close my shop because I still need some time for myself, for my farm, for collecting some things. And I'm not opening the shop every day, so not doing that. This is the upgrade token, as I told you. And I've only got one. I don't know on which on, on which things it depends how many upgrade tokens you get. So I could I could increase the I could increase the speed of ringing up customers. As you can see, I've already uh, purchased a small shop displays, medium and large, so I can have every one of them. Then I've already increased the ring up speed once, and I already increased sell price two times. And I want to save my tokens to increase them a third time. The ringing up time is not a problem until now. So I save my tokens and I'm going home, I think now, before I put things in my chest which I don't need at home. Things I need at home for processing or for baking or cooking, I'm normally, or maybe it's something for cooking, I'm already taking home and everything which is not. money do I have? No, not really. Come on, this is the first time, the first time <laughs> since I own this game and I'm, I'm really playing that a lot of times. That has happened. No, please, please have it saved. <sighs> this is the very first time this happened, really. Normally this is always happening to my, as I said already more times, to my Dreamlight Valley game, but never to. Let's come on. <sighs> this is so frustrating. Come on, if it's not safe. That was such a good, such a good shop day. And the 
first time loading time of the game is quite long, so you need this animation to be amused a little bit. of the day to visit my farm, harvest things and go through the town and collect things I want to sell in my shop or I need to craft something or upgrade my tools so you also need time for yourself As you can see on the left side, 
I still do have a lot of things open, a lot of uh, tasks, but at the moment I am more concentrating on my shops and my farm because that's something I really enjoy. <coughs> I think I have something for going fishing, yeah, let's go fishing. Something really cool. So, this is nothing I really need because my plants are all watered by oblets, but I can sell it. Yeah, this is the thing I already talked about, so if it's freezing, if it's snowing in your in your oblet, uh, world, then your crops are freezing and then you can use this melt-elizer and if you use it, it's, uh, it's not frozen until the next time it snows. So, you don't need it per day. You just need it once until the next time it gets snowing. That's really cool. Uh, this was what I was using a lot because I was not able to upgrade all my hoop coops um, to upgrade them to the highest level. So normally the, the first levels uh, need the same uh, resources all the time, which are not very, very much things. But for the last level you need, I think, 250 nurnies and 125 blankets or something like that. So it's really a high number. And you really need to collect a long time to get a long time to get these blankets. So you really need to collect a long time to get all these things together. Just upgrade one. I mean, I have, I don't know, 16 or something like that. I've not counted them to be honest. It was just a short estimation. Hmm. So let's go through the. I got that away! What we can collect here. I don't know that, did. They are mushrooms. And we can go to the house. See what is there. <coughs> it is always funny that in these games it's implemented that you go into some stranger's house, take away something, and it's just okay. <laughs> I mean, you, you teach your children. <laughs> That it's okay to go into a stranger's house, take everything and go home. <laughs> and that is really strange so for me. Yeah. It's not clear why game developers just started to do it like that. I mean, maybe because Zelda started with that, but even for Zelda it's normal. I always ask myself, who had the idea that this is okay? And that this is okay to implement it in the children's game. So it's always worth to do the town tour and collect everything that is lying around. As you can see, you always find a lot of things and they are really useful. Cooking, crafting, developing your farm. I always have to have an eye on my daughter who's sleeping behind me because today she's she's not sleeping very well, so I always have to keep her on. Oh, and what you also missed is I closed uh, 
closed is maybe the wrong the wrong way to say it. I, I finished my Halloween candy collecting uh, time and I bought a lot of things. But okay, can I show you that? So I have you have this candy pail for collecting your candy and I bought myself this hat, this kitty mask, this sweet baby ghost mask, this wizzy hat and this skelly mask and the lanty mask something else not for Halloween I think and you also wait you also what is not what is really expensive but no wrong button what is really expensive by the way is the corda ah uh, Halloween things what was it I'm not sure there was some kind of spooky wallpaper Then it was this spooky oop wallpaper, it cost uh, 200 candy and I need to collect a long time to get 200 candy together. But I absolutely wanted to have it. I don't know why, but every time I play such games I want to have all the decor which is the way they would be able to do create cool rooms and nice looking rooms. Even though they are not they do not have any influence on my character I wanna have I don't know what I mean oh, the they, they have an influence on my character. Oh and uh, what you also missed I helped the officer to find his bird because he lost one of his birds somewhere in the town. So I've also done this. We are now closing all the shops. some plants I collect every day because only a few are grown per day. These ones. Spices. Spices beer. They are cool. So I think the maximum are four per day which are growing. It's a little bit different every day. And I'm always collecting them to be able to cook something or to upgrade my ukus. So this is also worth the time. I think if you uh, upgrade the wildlands to a higher level, they are also growing in the main level, uh, in the main area. I think I read that somewhere on the internet. But since I'm I think, at level 2, I have no... No proof for that. Yeah, go to sleep soon. Otherwise, you will be groggy and slowly the next day. So I will now go home and sleep. And then let's see what is going on on my farm next day. <laughs> so, no 
not so much that happened because I have not done any dance battles and I've not earned any patches, but okay. I think I can be satisfied with this day. So there's one gleamy booklet, but I already have that, so I'm not really interested in it. I'm not really always checking if there are gleamy ones available, and if there are gleamy ones available, which I do not have, I try to get them. Let's take out package of seed because I think there's already a lot of a lot of crops finished. So there's a still plant. Which is waiting for me, and I think this is the only one. No, this is a normal one. But also, a normal one for me because I have two less to. for all my, my ukus. So they are not all full. You've seen my my uh, more developed farm, and you've seen uh, my shop and how it's working. If you're opening your shop and selling items, and as I said, I'm really missing this feature in Animal Crossing. So this is really cool and it's really fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and if you have anything to say, just let me know in the comments below. And I'm looking forward to see you in my next video. Bye!